What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, of course, and we're back on IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know, that's ICYDK.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices and the World Wide Web. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go, and we're going to start it off with your girl, Ice Spice, and Ice Spice, oh boy, she just dropped her new song, Fat Butt, and she dropped a new video for it, and let me tell you something, most of the people are dragging Ice Spice, they're saying that she stole Nicki Minaj and Flo, she swagger jacked her, and she come up with this new persona. You know, it's definitely a different flow for Ice Spice. But everyone's saying, give Nikki back her flow. And saying that she's trying to cosplay Nicki Minaj and manipulate her, you know, the, the barbs. She was showing her support once again. Meanwhile, she's trying to basically become the new Nicki Minaj. So y'all let me know what you think about that. Uh, she's still talking about the excitement of her project, the Y2K project. And, um, you know, she has lost a little bit of luster. Now, the video for Fat Bud is over a million views in two days. So, she's number 36 trending right now. Y'all let me know, did y'all hear the song? What do you think about the song? What do you think about Ice Spice's of jacking the lyrics you know, from her favorite artists. Moving on to your girl, Sexy Red, Big Sexy. And people are going nuts about what's going on with Sexy Red. Now, Sexy Red, first they had this SpongeBob episode where <laughs> Sexy Red is being emulated on SpongeBob. Um, the Sexy Red, Sexy Red Lobster and then Walmart on Walmart.com has this shirt, the Sexy Red Merch T-shirt, my coochie pink, my booty hole brown, selling that on Walmart.com. Now, Sexy Red also has people buzzing when she put up this post. She said, I am tired of being the blueprint. I'm tired of, uh, you know, basically saying she's tired of these chicks copying her. She's tired of being the blueprint of you H's. And people was buzzing about that right there. <laughs> wow. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think about Sexy Red, man. It's another year, and it just seemed like she's getting stronger. Now, of course, Jermaine Dupree came out and had something to say about her sales. You know, we remember that. You know, I think she sold twenty eight thousand or something like that. Uh, first week, and Jermaine Dupri was basically saying, "This this goes to show that what they're trying to portray Sexy Red is, or, or artists, artists like this is, it comes down to sales, and it comes down to how much people are really into it. And twenty eight thousand isn't the numbers ain't numbering. Basically, is what he's saying. So. Y'all let me know. I'm, I'm surprised Sexy Red is not responding back to Jermaine Dupri. Y'all let me know what you think about Sexy Red, man. Is she an industry plant? I think I said a long time ago, I believe she was. Y'all believe Sexy Red is an industry plant? You know, she's out there supporting Trump now. So let me know what you think about Sexy Red. Moving on to the girl, the stallion. Megan, the stallion. And it's officially one week away from the Megan album. She released the track list. 18 songs, Hiss, Rattle, Figueroa, Where Them Girls At, Broke His Heart, B.A.S. Uh, that's featuring Kyle Rich. Then we have Otaku Hot Girl, Find Out, Boa, uh, Mamushi featuring Yuki Chiba, Accent featuring Glorilla, Paper Together featuring UGK, 
Spin featuring Victoria Monet, Downstairs DJ, Miami Blue, Worthy, Moody Girl, and ends up with Cobra. So that is the track list for Megan Thee Stallion. It's going to be very interesting how this is perceived from, from what I've heard so far. This album is a good album. Now, I was a big fan of Traumazine. I want to see how, how this album compares to Traumazine and the growth of Megan uh, musically. You know, she pretty much stuck with the same producer, which is Juju. He's responsible for doing most of her songs. So I'm very interested in seeing uh, how this Megan Thee Stallion album comes out. And Megan, of course, was on stage with the hot girl. Summer Talk continues. Megan was on stage doing her little two-step, talking about they not like us. You know, you know, that's a little shot at Drizzy Drake. <laughs> you know, rightfully so. You know, Drake deserves a shot from Megan. You know, after all the stuff, uh, you know, not all the stuff, but the, the few times he was taking shots at her. So she, you know, she deserved to take a shot back at Drizzy Drake. And, you know, laughing at what a lot of people can, is considered, oh, that was Drake's funeral they were having with Kendrick Lamar. So they not like us is the is the Drake funeral anthem or whatever, or the pedo anthem, they call it. So OV Ho anthem. So Megan, you know, just getting her little two-step on. So shout out to Megan The Stallion. And there have been rumors of, her uh, international uh, leg of her tour canceling shows. So I don't know anything about that. I did hear something about it, but that's the international side of the tour has not started yet. And if they're canceling shows due to ticket sales, well, what do you expect? <laughs> you know, Megan Thee Stallion is not a big international star yet. So I don't even know why they would even um, book out uh, international dates if they didn't have the sales to back that up. And, and Megan Thee Stallion isn't an international star yet. I'm not saying they don't know her anywhere else outside the U.S., but that takes time, man. It's her first major tour. So if they are canceling um, for ticket sales, they do that all the time. You know what I mean? Um, especially, I mean, you have artists that's been out way longer than Megan Thee Stallion, and they're canceling you know, a lot of their international dates due to ticket sales. But shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. I'm looking forward to this new album, see what it's bringing. Moving on to Bacallus. Cardi B and the, the talks, everyone is still talking. And everyone is mostly talking about Cardi B being pregnant. Now, there's been, I've had several sources come to me and they said, Heb, I'm just letting you know, Cardi B is pregnant with her third child. Uh, Cardi is, is uh, especially after this last photo shoot where she's got the black on, she looks absolutely amazing, but people are saying she's definitely pregnant. You can see it in her face, and she's wearing the black, you know, uh, jackets to try to cover the baby bump, and we'll see if, that, if that's the truth. Now, Cardi B... Uh, made kind of like a teaser. Uh, yesterday she said, oh, what do you think my second album is called? And then I saw Ken Barbie make a comment saying they will not be calling it CB2 for long. The Cardi came up, this is the post right here. She said, what y'all think my album name is? If she listened to me, it'll be called Defamation of Character. But Ken Barbie says you won't be calling that for long. So we're going to see what happens. Y'all think Cardi B is pregnant with the third child. Um, I hope not. That, that's just me personally. I hope not. And this whole thing with the offset cheating uh, situation. Um, I don't know whether Cardi B knew about this. Um, from what they're saying, it happened in March. Now, that was right around the time they had that little breakup, right? Or that so-called breakup. But a lot of people were saying that was over him being seen out uh, with Jade for his birthday. But this seemed to have happened to March. These alleged text messages that we're going to assume is real for right now. 
You want to assume it's real? I don't think Offset has come out and said anything about it not being real. But maybe Cardi B knew about it. Um, like I said, I'm not going to get too much involved in these folks' marriages. All I'm going to say is, if she, if you, I'm going to quote Tony Braxton. If you not going to do nothing about it, if you not going to leave them, just let them cheat in peace, please. That's all. If you're not going to leave them, let them cheat in peace. Ain't no need to bring it. Ain't no need to ranting about it. Ain't no need to talking about it on social media. Because if you're going to do all that, it just makes yourself look more dumb when you end up going back to the person that you ranting about saying F this N-word or F this B. You know what I mean? When it's a man um, and then you end up back with him, it really makes no sense for you to do all that ranting if you ain't going to leave him. So if you ain't going to leave him, let him cheat in peace. And it's best not to say nothing. And we don't know whether Cardi B knew about this before and she's already forgiven all set for it or not. But we'll keep an eye on it to see. Cardi B said she wants people to stay out of her personal life. So whatever the case may be, I'm just here for the music. And we're going to see uh, if this new album, when it gets released, if it gets released, and if she is having another baby. We'll see. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please give... All your comments, leave them below. Anything you want me to comment on and or review. If you have any um, any requests for me to do any reaction videos, you know we do reaction videos as well. Let me know down in the comments what you want me to react to. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. We'll catch you on the next one.